Hello, and welcome to our video on the floss rule, or as I like to call them, the big old baby letters. Now, the rule goes that in a one syllable word that ends in the letters F, L, S, or Z, immediately following a short vowel, you'll double the letter. So, that's why the word off has two F's, because the F is at the end and the O is short. In hill, the L is at the end and the I is short. The same thing for miss and buzz. Now I tell the kids that the letters F, L, S, and Z are big old babies. And so when they're at the end of a word next to a short vowel, they get really scared. So they need their twin to sit with them. I know it sounds silly, but Kids identify with being scared, and it's a, just a little bit of a memory trick to help them remember the rule. Now, there are words like soft where the F doesn't get doubled, and so it has to do with why the rule works. Remember that the rule is when F, L, S, and Z is at the end of a word, and in this word, the F is not at the end. The T is so you don't double it. In the word self, you can see that an F is at the end of the word, but is it next to a short vowel? No, the F is next to the L. Why don't we double the L? It's next to a short vowel because it's not at the end. So it has to be, it's a one syllable word at the end next to a short vowel. All three have to be in place before we would double the word double the letter. So for a word like camel, why don't we double the L? It's at the end. And you could say that the E is kind of like a short vowel because it's not a one syllable word. Camel. Remember it's a one syllable word at the end of the word immediately following a short vowel. Now there are a few rules to the, ex there are a few exceptions in a way. But the reason they're exceptions have to do with the meaning of the word. Whenever you're not sure about why there is an exception, it is generally related to the meaning of the word or the word origin. So the word gas, for example, doesn't have two S's. Why not? The meaning of the word is gasoline. So what we've actually done when we write gas is we've just shortened the complete word gasoline. And plus does not have anything else to it. But when we look at the origin of the word, this is exactly how it is in its Latin form. So when we carried the word down from generation to generation, it continued to have its exact same spelling as it did, did back in the 1500s. So to practice this skill, what I do for the kids is I give them either a chart on their paper that they can write on or something on the board, and I call out a word. So the word is stiff, and they have to identify what is the ending letter for stiff. Does it follow the rules to be doubled, or if not, it'll go in the not column. So for stiff, of course, it's a one-syllable word. It has an I short vowel, and I ask them to code the vowels whenever they're writing because there's so many rules that relate to whether the vowel is short or not. So while they're learning how to spell, I ask them to code the vowels. So then we double the letters, and then I ask the kids to explain why do I double the F so that they constantly have to review the rules. So then we would do words like press, and we would do words like frizz, and words like drill, but we would also do words like belt. And belt would be over here because there's no doubling happening. And again, the kids have to explain, why don't I double the L? It's next to a short vowel, it's a one syllable word, but it's not at the end. It has to be all three rules. So this is how I teach children about the floss rule in the English words.